virtuous mission has been finished. So I found out that the Xbox 360's face buttons are actually not pressure sensitive. And if I'm aiming, I have to actually press in the left stick to lower my gun. So I've, I've learned a few tips and tricks. Colonel did not teach me these tips. He gave me his tip. One tip. Okay, here we go. I'm sure a PS3 version is a little bit better. I've heard some people say some things. I'm, I'm, you know, I had no choice. Well, I had a few choices, actually. I could have done the 3DS version as well, but I, uh, I opted for this version for maximum frame, frame rates. Snake. We gotta get a snake. Let's kill the snake quickly. Where is it? There it is. Do you remember when I killed the alligator like that and it took fucking forever? That was awesome. Oh, it's a frog. We're not letting any any food go to waste. Is that a squirrel? Is that the squirrel? If you need to kill the squirrel. Squirrel. Whoa. Where the fuck did it go? Gotcha. No one heard it. I'm still stealth. Yeah, I got Sisquel. Sus I, I wish I had a suppressor for this weapon. Just using guns to, like, destroy wildlife. Uh, unnecessary. Just unnecessary force. So I can eat a skvel. Why can't German people... See? Any Germans who don't speak English well in the audience, try to say the word squirrel. Well, you know what? Now you can just mimic the way I say it. But there's a video online of... of German people who don't speak English reading the word from a piece of paper and they're like squirrel 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 it is the most bizarre thing ever they don't know how to say squirrel because they never had to say that weird combination of letters before I am of the woods. I am of the sea. My balls are also camouflaged. Look at this motherfucker. Look at him blending in. Hold down. I don't think I have a suppressor yet. Um, yes, this is my first time playing this, Fred. And anyone else who's curious, this is my very first Metal Gear Solid 3 playthrough. And I, I did Virtuous Mission the other day, and I enjoyed it. Is that a fucking whore? Is it a Pona? Guys, there's a horse in this game. Squirrel. There's the uh, stealthy explosion jet that snake came in on uh. 
Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Said the boss. Wow, that was quick. Boss. I just got here. What she already found me. Hurt? What are you doing here? You can read my mind. I swear to God, it wasn't anything weird. She does that a lot, doesn't she? Go home. Go home. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! I mean, I was armed until you fucking deconstructed my gun. I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. <laughs> what? Are those bullets? What kind of gun is this? Why, why were the bullets twirling? <laughs> what was that? That should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 the hell, who's miles. Who's that? Oh my god, ghost. You ought to be able to run that far. Liquid ghost. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. <laughs> oh, come on. I just got that hand fixed. Now, go home. God damn it. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. A the memory man the leak? The boss is working with Volga and isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Pretty clearly. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Well... 
I guess we will throw snakes at them. And then beat and beat them with snakes. Also, I was told to check this out to see what that Yo, weapon was. You're snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons. Wait, didn't we do this already? Well, yeah, we did do that. All right, let's let's talk to him again. Sounds also, like the Cobra Unit's members' names came from the specific what's emotions up, Twitch that each Pokemon. carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. Huh. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss. Because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Oh. Ah. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Sorrow plus Joy equals melancholy. Which one was melon? The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. Nuclear? They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo. Hey, hey, Texan people say nuclear. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah. I know. Tell me about the gun that shoots bullets weird. Wearing the leaf pattern camouflage, are you? Yeah, I know about camouflage and stuff. Alright, I guess he's, saying he's not going to tell me. So, you Okay. All right. Thanks, Sigint. Appreciate it. Thanks for telling me about the gun. I had an idea. Like, what if we did like a Twitch plays Metal Gear Solid Three? So you guys can just tell me which direction to move in, and I'll just whenever I see it, I'll just go in that direction for like a quarter of a second. We'll automate it. Eventually, I will become a robot. I'll I'll hardwire my brain to the chat, and I know who can help me do this. TPP, he's here right now. We got this. I seem to be okay. Even though horse crushed my hand, I'm completely fine. Alright. Alright, you guys. I'm trying to... Huh? huh? No. No, no one's here. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Wasabi. There's nobody here. What about that drone? Huh? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Oh, fuck. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Fucking worst nightmare. Ah, shit. No one. Run. 
Run, stick! What's wrong? Oh, shit! Oh! What have I done? Oh, everything hurts. It hurts to be alive. I'm good at this game. See, now the enemies have gone. And everything is fine. Grenade out! WPG? What's a WPG? WP grenade. Flames. Oh, they create flames. Yeah, that sounds stealthy. Could use that for stealth moments. If I am in need of, of extra stealth at any point. These two are going to be out for a little while. God, that sounds just like footsteps. Go back to the area where you started the virtuous mission. Why? It's over there. Sonar works by pressing down one of the analogs to send out a pulse. Well, that doesn't work at all. I guess we'll just get motion D. Huh? Oh, we're in caution again? Oh, they woke up. Whoops. I guess we'll just go this way. Alright, so further into the forest, this is where Snake gets his groove back. Finds a girlfriend. Discovers the true nature of alligators. Oh, you bastard. Yes. Yes. Now you know we're playing Snake Eater. This is my favorite thing to do in Snake Eater, guys. To kill alligators. Yes! I'm sorry, these are crocodiles. Here, let me show you. Let me, let me show you. <laughs> Indian... Ga Gavil? Ah, not too bad. 
I don't know what the fuck it is, actually, but I don't care. It's dead now, and we ate some of it. I'm here to be friends. I want to be friend. Wait, is that where I entered from? Aren't these like crocodiles or whatever the fuck they are now? Aren't they irradiated? Um, oh, this isn't good. Snake's leg. Snake just did the stanky leg. I'm actually going the wrong way. Oh, so is that the right way? No, both ways seem very similar. Yeah, this is back to the entrance. Oh, whatever. Did I get a leech? Someone said I got a leech or something. I don't know. Sneak up behind this guy. I heard you can do it. You can grab him and interrogate him. No, no one here. Cure your leeches. Oh, fuck, he's on my dick. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Never mind. Burn them with a lit cigar. Okay. Watch me, watch me stealth. The stealth is going to be astoundingly good. You ready for it, guys? Yeah. Well, hey, I actually did something good. I was hoping to grab him, but I guess that's okay, too. You need a knife or weapon to grab him. Okay. No one here. Definitely not a man here in the in the weeds in the bushes.
he won't notice the change of weight in the bridge. So how do I how do I interrogate him now? What buttons do I press? I um um sorry. I just wanted to talk to him. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, fuck. I pressed the wrong button. What? No, no, no. Jesus, you gotta be really careful on this goddamn bridge, huh? I'm on the fucking motion detector, but I didn't actually see the fucker. Oh, whatever. Oh, no! <laughs> um. Ah! Oh, no! No! <laughs> Snake! I pressed the try the Y button. Missing? Oh, shit. So that guy's like... Running away in a hurry. Just went through a wall. It's fine. Bodies can do that. In the heat of- in the heat of stealth. Thank you for the advice. I enjoyed that. I will remember that. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of getting used to the controls more and more.
I didn't, um, I didn't really expect an interrogation to, um, break the fourth wall, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Break that fourth fucking wall, you don't need it. Medicine. A second. The hell did I get again? Like a camo, right? Effective in the rain. Okay. For whoever asked if I'll be streaming the next few days, I will be. I know um, SGDQ is going on, but I, I will be streaming. And tomorrow is, in fact, Tamadachi. The return of Tamadachi Life, which was a charity stream incentive. Let's, let's, oh, look at this cute thing. We had to eat it. That's so great. Didn't like that one. Snake does not like squirrel. Squirrel. AK-47. <laughs> oh, all these stealthy weapons the game keeps giving me. This is great. Oh, whoops. So it turns out that when you press the button, you, you just shoot. You, you don't have to let go of the button to shoot. I, I've made a terrible mistake. Well, everyone knows I'm here now, so... It's fine. This is a stealth mission. It's not... Sokolov was being held here. There wasn't even a fucking mattress on his bed. practice my karate. I'm a champion of karate and friendship and CQC. Fuck are you? They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. 
All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Hey, look, now we're in a Michael Bay movie. Man, you ain't know the password. I don't care if she knows the password or not. This is fine. Yeah, fuck the password. It's not important. It, wait, wait, what are you, what are you wearing exactly? Is that armor? The name's Eva. Is that where you're looking, Snake? This is literally where Snake is looking. <laughs> I pressed the button. <laughs> what are you doing, Snake? <laughs> Not subtle at all. Jesus, she'll know. Stop, Snake. What are you doing? This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? A hard snake. Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. Kojima has no scruples. I heard you used to be a code breaker for the Totally NSA. without scruple. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Stream is banned. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Yes. 45, huh? Is there a suppressor on it? Yes. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. Jesus. And snake. not only that. Nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A lab a coat? to make you look like a scientist. Oh. A disguise? Yeah, Snake looks like a scientist. You're here to a gruff... Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then. Unshaven yes. scientist. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohod. Where? The Shagohod. At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you Best might camera be angles to... right here. Can we get Sokolov out of there? 
We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. Oh, what did you say? First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to I'm the so sorry. for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and I'm not sorry. north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. <laughs> this fucking dialogue. After the swamp. Lord help me. I need Jesus. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. She's like, all right. right let's get going. Wait, whatever you Wait. say, man. Let's just, can we well, just now, get on with it? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. Did she slip something? Did she cause be snake? Before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. Whoa! Right. Luigi! I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Why is... What's going on with Snake? Why is he... What's the matter? Tired. What the hell happened I to him? I know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Oh, right, because he was Whenever injured. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, and his hand was crushed by a horse's hoof. Sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh. Let's just hope that this person is trustworthy. No, everyone seems to trust her. She doesn't have the password. Which was Lule Lali Lolo. La. Lula La. I think. Okay, maybe I don't even have the password. Fuck that password. Hello, yes, this is Ava. I would like to raid your base and discuss. I have the American pig. We are ready for betrayal plan part one. What? I heard you. Oh. I mean, really? <laughs> really? What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. Uh, they're from Comrade Oscalot's unit. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Right. What kind of gear here, are we talking give about? Me a hand. We can 
use this to get to the basement. Damn it! I've so lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Uh, yeah, they just met last night. If it was only ever that easy. so far. Use the CQC, Snake. the door uh, we need to something here What will this will this act just as food or Oh it's just you can throw it. Okay, that's not what I want. That's life medicine I'm looking for, right? Doing snake. No, you don't. Where is he? Where where am I? Where am I? Where are you? My detector. What? God damn, damn, I'm still trying to fucking get used to these controls. It's been so long since I played a Metal Gear game. Forget that you get stuck on walls. It's like really easily.
Jump over. Jump over, snake. Okay, never mind. Thank you, Kang. That accomplished nothing. Fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's up there. <laughs> nice, no scope. One enemy left. Is it, is it, is it, was that the roof guy? Oh, there's a ladder here. I didn't even see the ladder. There's still one guy left. I see you. <laughs> wrong buttons. All the wrong buttons. All in a row. Where's Comrade Oscalot? Someone said there's an item on the other side of the ladder. Let me go take a look. For this moment for all my life oh lord that's it that's the stance i don't think so what a female spy This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got judo. yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. Nice gun. Man, I 
Ocelot kind of sucks, doesn't he? <laughs> Holy shit! Got wrecked. Six shots. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. Tire tread on his face. This is a high class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn. He's, he's good at twirling. This isn't that's, over yet. That's a skill. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! Jesus Christ, this fucking game. Title screen. Snake Eater! You'll get caught up in the Snake Eater! I'm gonna use the box in a second, don't worry. Just looking for... There's an item somewhere nearby. It's not here. There it is. Face zombie. Okay, now I'm curious, what is that? All duty ghosts. <laughs> that mimics a zombie, the real life zombies of Russia. Good, good camo. Put naked camo on, then call Sigint. Okay. Hey, Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're gonna keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. CQC. Snake, you said Eva said her Mauser was a it. Type 17, right? Yeah, what about it? That model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangxi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker too. It's the Han Solo gun. The most telling of all, it's got Chinese well, that's what characters they started engraved with. on both sides of the frame like you saw. Then so they modified it. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally? That's a trademark of the Chinese. Just like you were saying, when you're firing in full auto mode, the muzzle jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close range mop up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. You know that army motorcycle that Eva was riding? That's a replica of a German model. A replica? Yeah. 
After World War II, the Soviets confiscated an entire assembly line from a German motorcycle factory, machines and all. And then they took it back with them and started producing replicas? Exactly. Originally, that motorcycle was designed to be used with a sidecar attached. That means it's got enough power to drag a 200-plus pound sidecar around. So that's how she could pull off all those crazy stunts. Uh-huh. Of course, it takes a lot of skill to be able to control that much power. That Eva chick is something else. She doesn't know the password. What? Don't worry about that, Snake. Snake. What's up? Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform. But without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks, and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. <laughs> Man, you do whatever you want. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? <laughs> my pants, can I? Oh, hell no! This fox unit is a nut fest! <laughs> Pants, pants, Metal Gear pants. <laughs> okay, now, now we gotta check out a box. cardboard box why are you i don't know i was just looking at it and suddenly i got this irresistible urge to get inside no not just an urge more than that <laughs> it was my destiny to be here in the box destiny yeah and then when i put it on i suddenly got this feeling of inner peace i can't put it into words i feel <coughs> safe like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh huh. Does any of that make sense? Not even a little. You should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Oh, Man, I don't no. want to know what you mean. Between you and paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with a major strange? <sighs> yeah, well. Anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. That was amazing. But when he said come in the box, just bad images and bad thoughts of, of something flashed into my head. Not sure if, if I want to revisit that train of thought. No, sir. No, sir. You should come in the box. Jesus. I, I love the writing in this game. It, the, the camp is just... You don't even care about the camp. It just makes it so much better. You can knife mushrooms and they will heal you. Oh, okay. I should get some fucking mushrooms then. Slide down cliffs. You won't take any damage. Oh. 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 
Is that true over here? Oh, shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. They saw me. No. God damn it. my friend Where did he go? Where did he go? Where where is he gone? Guys, I don't where is he? Bridge getting all kinds of fucked up. Nice aim, Snake. Good job. I wonder if this bridge can be blown up. Whoa, I just wasted a lot of ammo. I went the wrong way. Oh, god damn it. I gotta cross this busted ass bridge again. beautiful it's even it wraps itself up in a nice little box for me it's so wrong way on the bridge Vinny what was which way was the wrong way that way this way you mean I'm not supposed to go back that way Follow Ava through the gate she opened. I didn't even see that. Oh, over this way. Bug juice. That sounds delicious. Frogs and snakes. Shonj Prot. Oh, fuck. Crocodiles. Yes! Take care of all that shit. Grenade fishing. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck that one up.
Uh, I wonder if this classifies as a waste of supplies. There's an item in this area that you don't want to miss. Okay. Oh shit, you can swim? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Vulgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never Known even knew there Island. were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. I grew up in the dump. Until I went to work for the NSA. I was born in the trash. I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Mm hmm. Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position. A difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth, then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying, too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Sometimes when we lie, Snake, it can be the truth. If we believe the truth to be lie. Yeah. Vin, you gotta come to my cousin's club. It's called Snake Eater. You wouldn't believe it. Ava. Ava Mendez will be there, Finn. And Volgan. Custom Volgan. Volgan will be there too, Finn. You gotta come. Go to sleep, crocodile. Go to sleep, you junkies bastard, you dirty couldn't, you dirty fuck.
Now I can <laughs> I can create my own crocodile oh, daycare center. How the fuck did you wake up qu that quick? Damn, man. Snake stick. Go to sleep, you dirty cunt. Go to sleep, you junkies bastard. Stop it. Stop it, you fuck. Hang on a second. Before I do anything, where did my silencer go? Twenty-two. So, oh, I see. It's like choose which one you want the suppressor to be on. Wait, I had it. I had a suppressor. The suppressors have like a, a limited lifespan. Suppressors wear out in this game. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So you can't just stealth your way to victory at all times. It's a lot of fucking leeches on Snake's Groat. What are you doing, Snake? Why'd you do it, Snake? <laughs> snake. to actually grab onto that.
I need more stamina for this. <laughs> what is this scene? I haven't seen this yet. Okay. Glad you like it, Snake. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, man. What should I be doing here? Should I drop down or... Good. Good job. Good job! Very nice! This item better be worth it. Drop onto the vine. Oh. Jam the action button when you're falling to it. Okay. Got it. And I have enough stamina to make it. For someone who's named Vine Sauce, I sure don't know a lot about vines, huh? Croc Cap. What did I get? Croc cap. Can't complain. Wait, wait, wait. Crocodile cap? What? The hell's the point? Crocodiles won't hurt me anymore? Amazing. That's what I've done. I did that whole thing just so I could have this, I this one item. It can scare enemies when you're in the water. See what everyone has to say about it. A cap shaped like a crocodile head, you say? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. You know, animal disguises are one of the oldest tricks in the book in the intelligence world. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've heard that during World War II, the OSS used to use cow suits. Supposedly, they said I can't believe he's okay with this. Herds of real cows so they could spy on enemy units as they passed by. Nowadays, I guess most people wouldn't even give a crocodile-shaped cap a second look. They think it was just a gag item. But if you use it the right way, it can be an effective weapon for spying. I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You're one sharp guy. 
You okay, Snake? Now forget it. Was huh? he ex was he expecting him to be like, no, nah, this sucks, man? That area is known as Chorny Prud. The name means something like the Black Shore in Russian. I guess she doesn't have anything to say about this. It looks like you've got rid of all the ocelots. Yeah. Now proceed with the Oh, we've got some conversation to catch up to with. Eva, you should start by going to the crevice to the north and can we trust her? What's that? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Oh, can may I as really well believe what she says? Have a snack. Oh, I know she won't double cross me. Well, this is happening. There are no guarantees in espionage, Snake. Only calculated guesses. At this point in time, the KGB stands nothing to gain by stabbing us in the back. So you're saying I can trust her? I'm saying the chance I regret that. to betray you is low. It was uh, melted. Of course, we checked now the I have to wash my hands. against our own data. It looks like a pretty solid infiltration route. It makes good use of weak spots in the enemy's defenses. You shouldn't have any problems. Follow the route Eva showed you and proceed with the mission. Roger. First, enter the cave through the crevice. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. It was um, salted caramel um, brownie. Just had two bites of it. It was really, good. <laughs> really fucking good, but really melted. That swamp seems pretty deep. It's probably deep enough to dive underwater and swim around. Press the crawl button when you're swimming on the surface to dive underwater. The controls when you're underwater are quite different from when you're on land. The left stick controls the direction you're facing. Press up, down, left or right to turn in that direction. Yeah, I got this, man. Snake, you'll be helpless if a crocodile attacks you in the water. Did you get a comment about my hat? What in God's name? Finally. How does it look? It looks cool. Huh? It looks cool on you. It does? <laughs> she yeah. likes it. I don't think cool is the right word. Why? What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Don't you think it looks silly? Doesn't it make you laugh? Aren't you going to ask me what the hell I was thinking? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I think it really does look good. It reminds me of the alligator people. Oh, the... what? The alligator people. It's a science fiction movie. You've never heard of it? No. Oh, well, you should see it sometime. It's about this guy who gets hurt in a car accident and tries to heal his wounds by injecting himself with a crocodile serum, but then his head turns into a crocodile head. <laughs> you look just like him with the mask on. That's awesome! Right. Huh? Oh, never mind. I suppose you might be able to disguise yourself as a crocodile by wearing that cap and sticking your head out of the water. I, I like how he expected, like, everyone to hate it. But... Mostly people are okay with it. That movie sounds amazing, by the way. Crocodile Head Man? Yeah, that sounds good. I want to try Ava again. Good. You made it to Bolshaya. The Great Cavity. I can't believe how much stuff there is. Wait, wait. I want to try one more time. The crevice that leads to the cave is... No, never mind. I don't think she has anything to say. Effective electrical fence. Very good fence. HQ, HQ. This is 
HQ. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence Why am I not dead? Okay. If, I mean, if you're crawling... You just pick them up anyway. Oh, shit, they're looking for me. If I get into this brush over here, they'll never see me. I got a fucking leech on my scrotum. I guess we'll see if this mushroom is any good. Ah, disgusting. Ugh. Oh fuck, sorry snake. Ah. Hey, this works. Right. So I got a little too close to the sign. Or to the fence, rather. I, I thought that was the, um... Yeah, I thought that was the, the, the switcher to, you know, turn the fence off. It wasn't. That is the control panel. Why can't I put the suppressor on this? Nothing. Don't don't worry, dog. Not, nothing. Nothing going on here. Just just us squirrels, squirreling around. Who 
was that? <laughs> the dog does not know. <laughs> I love that I can see the inside, or, or the um, I could I could see the crocodile cap in first person mode. Sir, we found him. Who? Crocodile man. Crocodile man. What do, what do you mean you found crocodile man? Yeah, there's a guy, who, half man, half crocodile, running around with a gun. Taking out our dogs and our people. Yeah, half man, half croc... You, you sure about that, Jenkins? Because... You know, we're almost positive that's not real. No, 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 we're sure, sir. He's already taken out, like, four of our men. It's, it's real. Okay, uh, we're changing guard duty. Your shift ends in five minutes. So, just, uh, you know, go ahead and just come back to HQ when you get a chance, alright? Thanks. Oh, and if you can go ahead and come on in on Saturday, that would be great. Okay? Separate. Oh, this is going to get loud. What was that noise? Crocodile Man strikes again. Legends of the Crocodile Man throughout all of Russia have spread. But no one actually believes <laughs> any of the stories. This... This is my swamp! No! These guys should be electrocuted. Really. <laughs> Trying to execute them, but I cannot... Oh, this is insane.
Come on, you guys, just die. Tell me, why does Crocman wear the cap? Oh, you know, brothers. Uh, so yeah, what what is this? What, how do I get this? I want, I want that. Let me look around. I don't see. Oh, I see something. Cans. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even see that. There is more. Yeah. I thought it ended early, that path. But I should have looked a little bit harder. Cans grow in trees. <laughs> Hey, that dog was about to bite Snake's balls. Uniform splitter. Urban environment. Like, it's only good in the hood. That's it. Really? This is HQ. Who is left? There's no enemy intruders here. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Later. What's wrong? Sir, my he, he fell asleep. I can't explain it. He just fell asleep on the job. This is HQ. Patrol here. One of our guys is down. Go into alert station. Acknowledge. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Got rid of that alert. D.
What's wrong, Hootie? You don't like my sense of fashion? Okay. Somehow this is making me camouflage? I guess that's cool. Uniform water? It's just... oh. Effective when underwater. I should've... I should've known. Show you my karate, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm in the I'm in the base. I found some kind of frog. What the? Guys, what the fuck is this? This thing's gonna get me caught. Is that a rare frog? Like, do you not see that frog often in this game? There's like 50 of those all around. Shooting enough of them unlocks rewards for New Game Plus. Oh, I thought I saw another one in a different area. I might have to go back. Stealth door opening. It's just having a nap. Nothing weird going on. Just, uh, having a nice little nap. Isn't that right? That's, that's correct. Uh, just a nice nap. We have all these mouse traps now. May as well use them, right? You find food storage sheds in certain locations. If you blow them up, the men surrounding areas will have lower stamina. Like this one, for example. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. I, I will, in fact, be destroying this. I guess that's it then. Amazing item. Ah. Hmm. 
They didn't hate it. Find some C4. Croc Man, ah, fighter of the dark man, champion of my son. Change one word and it gets real weird. the north. What, what was to the north? The North Grove? I guess we'll never know. Shit. The Popo. They on to us. I think that item just disappeared. That sucks. Well, I do want to see if I missed a frog. So I'm just gonna take a short break from this area. Again, he found the fucking body again. Yep, that was a frog. I thought it was... I thought it was a plant at first. And now I know. It's actually a frog. You only get a reward for shooting them all? Oh, alright, never mind then. Well, game over, man. Game over. I'll never get all the frogs. I'll tell y'all who my hero is. My hero music, man. Rock and roll hero music. The frog. The fro uh, the frog. He played that, uh, that, that, one, that one song. Uh, some fun folks born. Fill but the boon and mouth. Play, it's playing that red, red, and blue. <laughs> John Sandley, here's the chief now. Hail Mary. Uh, to point the finger at you, the Fogue. John Fogarty, the Fogue. My hero. Here's my, my, my lord and savior. Huh? Who is that? It's just a, it's just a crocodile. Shh. 
burden yourself not with the identity. Wow, this guy does not notice me. Good job. Speak. If the provision storehouse is destroyed, speak. The machine gun with the action button, speak. There are guys who know alert cancellation frequencies. Thanks. It's like a medicine storehouse. Folks are born. Still of a spoon. Uh, that was not supposed to be a McConaughey voice, by the way. That was like a mix of Boom Hauer. And just random, generic, rando, rando Calrissian. And now it's McConaughey again. Yeah, it's the croc. Don't you forget it! Rat tunnel? Oh, there's there's a thing at the end of rat tunnel. You know my boy, rat tunnel. I can't get to that though. There's there's a thing under there, guys. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Conflicting things happening in the chat right now. Some people want me to do some things, other people want me to do other things. Not exactly sure. Whoa. It's a lot of stuff in here. told to destroy the helicopter with a turret. Okay, that didn't work. We might need to use that TNT. Get out. Fuck yeah. Enjoy your lowered stamina. Before I destroy the helicopter, 
Whoa, snake. This might take a little while. Oh, it was actually not behind. I thought it was behind a, like a thing. It wasn't. So someone's hiding their porn stash in the rat tunnel. Amazing. He goes down there to have a like nice little claustrophobic Wearing wank. Raindrop pattern camo, huh? Raindrop was used by Germany during World War II. Even now, it's still used a lot in Eastern Europe. It's designed to be especially inconspicuous in the rain, so you'll get the most out of it if you put it on during a downpour. Looks like you're using splitter face paint. Splitter is an indoor face paint. Painting your face with splitters should help you blend in better when you're infiltrating a building. Pattern clothing, face paint, tactical movements. These are the elements of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. But to camouflage what about the helicopter? First press the start button to check out the survival viewer. Then select camouflage and you'll see two more options. Tell me about the helicopter. Uniform. Choose face to apply. Your field uniform is covering your body. The camo in. Sigint. What's up? The chopper we were talking about is parked at the heliport. The one that was hauling the Shagohod in the Virtuous mission? Yeah. Perhaps it's an armed variation of the MI-8 hip. No. Some of it looks the same, but the overall shape is different. It's got stub wings, and the cockpit canopy looks like an angular greenhouse. No kidding. Then it must be some kind of new model. I've heard stories recently that the Soviets are developing a flying infantry combat vehicle. That's gotta be it. A flying infantry combat vehicle? Yeah. A transport chopper with troop carrying capabilities. Think of it as an God. attack transport chopper version of France's AMX. VCI Sounds like the disaster the that was the Bradley tank. They must be doing field tests on the initial prototype. A next generation chopper that's a little smaller than the hip. Maybe we should call it a hind. Hmm. Not bad. It's cool with me. Then it's settled. We'll refer to that new type helicopter. Oh God, really? From now <laughs> oh fuck. Wait, did we... How did they settle upon this? I don't get it. Like, did they not call the committee? The helicopter naming committee was not informed. I can't believe that worked. Stealth action. So I came in through there. The hind is now destroyed. Uh, where do I leave? Didn't, didn't she mention something about a crevasse earlier? Destroy the ammo supply? Wait, really? 
Destroy the place you got the TNT from. Oh, okay. Also, that looks like where I have to go. This is how fucking, this is how Snake does it. Doesn't even have to look back. Wait, did that work? What the fuck was that noise? Yeah, it worked. It's, that was his stomach. I thought it was some kind of boar. So we meet again. Uh, here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Another new gun. Twice now, you've made me taste bitter defeat. <laughs> Every time. I hate to disappoint the Cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. So then why'd you call them, man? You and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. And show off. Are you, you done you done fiddling your dick? This time I've got twelve shots. He's got spurs. He doesn't even ride a horse, he's got spurs on his shoes. Well, actually, I was wondering if you'd let me eat for a second, because I'm hungry. Ah, can't complain. Ah, pretty tasty. Just... <laughs> Firing blindly at no one. No, not the bees. Get away from me. You like bees? Get away from me! 
you doing, Snake? Use your gun! Uh, I keep holding the R button to do the, the movement. Oh, he, he is engorging in his pantaloons right now. I like being vulnerable for a very long time. It's exhilarating. Is he? This reload time is exhilarating. Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! Some respect Son here. Have a grenade. <laughs> no, okay. Not respectable. Ah! Still. Getting used to these controls, man. They're not bad, it's just 2003, you know? This reload time is exhilarating. Yeah, I like getting shot in the head while I reload, that's fun. It's exhilarating. Are they laughing at me for missing? There's a rabbit behind me. Human wasp. Oh my god, look at how he's killing them. <laughs> that's good. Take off your mask. That's, that's smart. God, Ocelot's wasp killing technique is amazing. Lucky. We'll meet again. <laughs> I love it. That's a bees! Ah! 
How did they not, like, get Snake's face to look like the thing from earlier? Seriously. They were on him for even longer. Paramedic. There's some, some kind of cave demon. God, oh, don't worry about it. I killed it immediately. Crabs are no match for a knife. have any other source of light except for a cigar a dead end. Oh, I know. Oh, there's a ration here. <sighs> okay, now we're saved. Croc Hat is here. Everything's gonna be okay. I see you caught yourself a green tree python. The green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to... Fuck. See, now I'm missing good dialogue, because I thought it was gonna be some bullshit about snakes. I mean, it's bullshit about snakes, but it's good bullshit. I see you caught. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. So she just kind of talks about all the different food. Sorry, guys. I was hoping she'd be able to help me. Bullets. And mushrooms on the floor. Oh, okay. Let's just do that. Let's just... Our mushroom -y. My Ungar is max right now. Watch him get to the end and wait a week before streaming again. Well, I'll be streaming tomorrow, Tom Tomodachi Life. And then Bayonetta 2 will be this week. Uh, 
I definitely will be streaming again, don't worry. But I couldn't for about a week because I was really sick, actually. So that's that's why I wasn't streaming a whole lot. Uh, usually I'm like streaming five or six days a week. Even if it's only like a few hours, I tend to stream. Oh god, is this where crab battle came from? Because of all these goddamn crabs around this guy's, like, fucking body. They killed him. They killed his entire family. But mostly just him. One item to see in the dark. Now we have to find this night vision. <sighs> that was original snake. sauce there's a boss named the end when you get to him if you save then wait a week in real time then return to the game he dies of old age <laughs> are you serious so is that what that guy was saying I thought he was saying watch him like finish streaming this and not stream again oh my god that's amazing It's all right. I knew about the end. I just think that's a really cool, um, that's just a really cool thing that that's even in this game. That's amazing. I don't think that's a spoiler though. That's not too much of a spoiler. I know about the end. I know he's old. I know he's a sniper. Even though I've never played this game before, there's just some things you pick up by osmosis or just being a gamer on the internet, you tend to find these things. But, um, that's really fucking cool. I have to say that's that that's impressive how how amazing that is. So if you're having a real tough time with the boss, just uh fuck off for a week. God, it's so bright. <sighs> Eat glowing mushroom, call paramedic. Okay.
Battery has recovered. <laughs> Were you fucking what? Hey, this works. I see you've captured an Indian gavial. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in the We're going to be going through a lot of these in Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes, but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. I tried the meat. It was great. Well, good for you. It was great. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally, they're cowardly creatures, but the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently, they attack humans. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. I see you've caught yourself a Kenyan mangrove crab. Its fucking claws are crazy. Kenyan mangrove crab it can rip a, a tank in two. Crab. It lives in burrows dug near seashores and mangrove swamps. It's not poisonous, but it might hurt a little if it attacks you with its pinchers. Treat it with caution. Isn't that pronounced pincers, or is it just... Yeah, whatever. I see you cut yourself a rat. The rats in that area are the descendants of wild Norway rats that were domesticated by humans as pets and lab animals. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you, but they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Pincers. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Try it, it's pretty good. Yeah, I love when Snake says things. But what is this thing? Like that. Never seen anything like it. Calorie mate is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It's a well balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Not Aren't you always keeping people waiting? Uh -huh. It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. It's true. You seem to know. I'm on a brownie Japan, diet. Yes. It's good for I you. I love Japan. Nothing but brownies. I see you found some Siberian ink cap mushrooms. The Siberian ink cap is a mushroom from the ink cap family. Its life cycle is transitory. As soon as the spores mature, the cap starts to turn black, liquefy, and melt away. And that's why they call it an ink cap? That's right. It doesn't really turn to liquid, but you get the idea. In its immature state, before it melts away, it's valued as a source of food. I ate some, but they weren't that good. Really? Just be sure not to eat them while you're drinking alcohol. Why's that? Ink caps contain coprin, which inhibits the function of aldehyde dehydrogenase. This prevents the body from breaking down alcohol, causing a buildup of acetaldehyde. Meaning? Meaning it will give you the hangover from hell. Oh. Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Wouldn't you? Hell no. Well, I'm knocking a shot back now. What? Just teasing you. She can... she can. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? You know, like, she doesn't really need her motor skills. Snake can't. He's busy, man. She's gotta fight these fucking crabs. I see you've got yourself a ration. Oh my god, so many Rations things. Rations portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. Ah, Soviet. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. It looks like the rumors are true. Great. Hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. 
You are hopeless. By the way, Snake. What? You know the Ocelot unit commander? Oh, Ocelot. she didn't say anything. Yeah, that's not his real name, is it? I wouldn't think so. His real name is, is it Dave. Is code name? You mean like Snake? Yeah. Maybe. Why? Is that strange? No, I was just wondering why he's called Ocelot. Why is that? Well, I looked it up, and it turns out the Ocelot is a wild cat whose habitat stretches from the southern U.S. down to northern Argentina. They live in a variety of different environments from tropical... Okay, so I'll put it in my inventory, call her, eat it, then call her. Length. They're normally solitary creatures, and their diet consists mainly of small animals and fish. During the day, they sleep up in the trees, but at night... Yeah, uh, paramedic. Oh, right. So, the ocelot is an animal that lives on the American continent. But then I wonder, why would a Soviet officer be using the name of an American wildcat? Good question. Maybe it's because he's fast and agile like an ocelot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Hmm. But why'd you go to all the trouble of looking it up? Because I was curious. Was it helpful? Uh, sure. <laughs> By the way, thank you guys, everyone that um, has been checking out the music. Uh, it's been a really good reaction. And, uh, you know, you don't have to actually spend money on the songs on my Bandcamp page. You can, whatever ones are available for free, the, the two songs from the upcoming album, you can just download those. You really do not have to spend money on them. Some people spent like two, three bucks on them. It's not necessary. It's appreciated, but it's not necessary. Also, um, for people who bought charity shirts late, this has been a topic that I have not addressed yet because I wasn't sure what the fuck was going on. Turns out, so as you know, like, with Teespring, you can reopen campaigns if there's enough demand for it. Turns out, after the charity shirt ended, people reopened it. <laughs> so there was enough demand to reopen the goddamn charity shirt. And as a result, it sold like another 80 shirts. And I didn't know about this until a few days after this started happening. So... I'm going to be closing it for good after that, but this particular round of, of shirts is actually going to go straight to the charity again. So, apparently, we have not reached our final total for the charity stream. It was 55,000, like 400 something. I think it was 55,445. I believe that was our total. But the second round of shirts, the money from that is also going to go to our, uh, the charity stream or the charity, directly to the charity. So we might have a new total when um, the shirt is up tomorrow. So pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Apparently the charity stream is not yet ended. Some people got their shirts, yeah, but um, then again it was reopened, which is weird. I see you found some Russian glow caps. The Russian glow cap is a kind of luminescent fungus, a mushroom that glows in the dark. Why would a mushroom glow in the dark? It's bioluminescent, just like a firefly. It uses the so-called luciferin luciferase reaction. To put it simply, luciferin reacts with luciferase in the presence of magnesium 2 plus ions. Breaking it down into oxyluciferin and carbon dioxide. Hundred years of vine sauce charity, the Morty. Hundred years charity stream, Morty. Initially in an electrical excited state, when they return to their base state, they give off light. Did you get all that? Not really. Oh. I ate one and it recharged my batteries. <laughs> I thought a mushroom that glows that bright was bound to charge up my batteries if I ate it, and I was right. You're serious. What's wrong? Mm, nothing. Um, Snake, can you excuse me for a second? Sure. Did you just hear that? Yeah. There's no way eating a bioluminescent mushroom would cause your batteries to recharge. 
What do you think it means? Beats me. Maybe it's all in his mind. You mean like a placebo effect? <laughs> Why not? You've seen how gullible he is. Well, I guess there's no harm done. Should we let him keep believing it? Sounds good to me. Okay, Snake, I'm back. Yes, the Russian glow cap is a glowing mushroom, so it'll recharge <laughs> the batteries when you eat it. Uh, amazing. That was that was great. Snake is just just tripping, just tripping balls right now. That he thinks that eating glowing mushrooms recharges his batteries. Nope, high as fuck. That's what happens when you eat glowing mushrooms. Oh fuck! God, I'm getting lost down here. Hundred years stream, charity stream. Oh, speaking of Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty season two begins tomorrow, guys. Even though the first two episodes leaked already, which is unfortunate for them. It's uh, it's good that we're gonna get some new episodes. I can't wait! I can't wait for new Rick and Morty. God damn it! So ready. Support it. You should support it anyway. I think it's it's a good idea to uh, show Justin and Dan the uh, support because it is such a great show. And if you show them, if you show the network that you're watching it, then. We'll get even more Rick and Morty in the future. Someone said there's a shotgun in the cave. Did I miss it? Or am I am I doing alright? Never mind. That was a dumb question. Literally, ten seconds later, my question was answered. It was that day that Snake gave up the, the life of, of the snake and became the Batman. Hold LB to aim down the sights with shotguns and rifles. Doesn't work. You can strafe with it, which is actually fucking godsend. Oh, I got the Jon Snow outfit. Oh, that's great. I could use it with my brothers from the Night's Watch. <laughs> oh, I've got a little bit of constipation. Me and Sam went beyond the wall. Met up with the wildling woman. I named you Grit. It's living on tree bark for a week. I'm a bit constipated, Lord Commander. Just a little bit. Party faced and constipated. Saving the game, Snake? been a while since I saved. Uh, 
I don't like those movies. Oh, fuck. I missed it because I pressed the button again fast. The Major's gonna like you saying that. Even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Vond. What exactly don't you like about- Is there a way to resume the voice conversation? Because that would be... That would be great. <laughs> Major. S Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? Good as a pen going to do me in the jungle. I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake shaped gun? You could make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake. Oh, uh, you could make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake, then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. Okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a, sh a snake shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attache case. Or, will, will, you, will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hmm. To tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales, either. Well, that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a, two, a thing or two from him. What about this Ava? What are you planning to do with her? I, I don't even trust her yet. That's not what I mean. You can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of... Spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative. And to do that, you've got to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand. I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you changed your code name to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Don't you know the Major's a huge James Bond fan? Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe if you don't realize this, maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, you're gonna have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just not one of those people who can... Enjoy spy flicks. Sorry, I did my best, guys. I, I was I'm a big James Bond fan. I didn't want to skip that dialogue. Well, Connery Bond. Daniel Craig. I like some of the Roger Moore Bond. Believe it or not, I think Timothy Dalton was a good Bond. His movie. Living Daylights was good. I think he had a lot of potential, but it was like Pierce Brosnan. We've discussed this. There's like p wasted potential with some of these bonds. Which is your favorite? Um, oh man, that's a tough one. I, I, I hate to say it, but Casino Royale was just fucking amazing. And this is coming from an old school Bond fan. But I also love Dr. No. You know, I'm a big fan of Goldfinger. From Russia with Love. Like, a lot of the Connery stuff I really enjoyed. I caught you at last. We are the sons of the boss. Who the fuck this crazy asshole? I am the pain. Maximum pain. <laughs> I will guide you. Call me Max for short. Language beyond your imagination. He's wearing a yellow jacket, guys. Yellow, yellow jacket.
It's so funny when you forget that Metal Gear is, is a game that has weird bosses like this. And, and it's like... You start to think that it's just a serious game about, like, spying and stuff, and then this happens again. I guess I can't get up here. All oh, right, right. The the bees. Oh. What the fuck. I know why we're not winning. Now we got this. It's just me. It's a crocodile. It says the man fucking using bees. Lit literal bees. that just happened. Jesus. Okay. Again, for anyone who is new to this stream, I have never played this game before. I've played other games in the franchise, but not this one. Snake's arm does not look natural when he's using this weapon. Am I doing this right? <laughs> Fucking just jump in the water every time I see bugs. Just like real life. Is that a fucking bee gun? Oh, it's the thing from Fantastic Four. Son of a bitch, he was encapsulating my grenades in bees. I didn't even see that shit. See, I, I actually... I saw it in chat, but before I saw it in chat, I was wondering if... Maybe smoke grenade would be a good choice for this fight because, you know, how do, what do you do to disperse insects like bees and stuff? You, you use smoke. So, I kind of had an inclination, but I wasn't going to do it because I was too lazy to go into my inventory. But, let's see what happens. Oh, going 
for a swim. God damn it. I like I like how he announces his attacks. It's such like a typical bad guy move to do. Gotcha. Sir Illin Payne of House Payne. The pain. <laughs> He's just going to say that a lot, isn't he? Pain. Yes, he is. Sorry, I can't help but laugh at that. <laughs> oh god, that's amazing. This <laughs> is so fucking amazing. Also, I saw a little something that I no longer see. Stand over here. I mean, at this point, I missed so many of them, but whatever. I saw it. You defeated the pain. Yeah. I think was that was his name. I'm not fucking sure. There are still three more of them left. Four. There are still four more Cobras left, including their leader, the boss. I'm aware of that. Good. The exit from the cave should be toward the back. Proceed through the cave and find the exit to the swamp aqueduct. I heard you fought against KGB troops in the Virtuous Mission. But this time you're up against Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz is the Special Forces unit of GRU, the intelligence wing of the Soviet Defense Ministry's General Staff Office. Spetsnaz troops undergo rigorous training in all types of special ops, from assassination and demolition to intelligence gathering. That and Volgan's loaded, man. His unit is one of the best equipped in the entire Soviet Union, if not the best. I heard the enemies you encountered in the Virtuous Mission were only carrying weapons like AKs and grenades. Well, it ain't that simple anymore. In addition to AKs, some Wasn't of the patrols you week? encounter might be equipped with Scorpion submachine guns and shotguns. The Scorpion is even lighter than the AK, making it much easier to handle. Basically, a guy with a Scorpion is not going to miss you as often as with an AK. The shotgun is a powerful weapon. One blast is enough to floor you, and you're likely to be seriously wounded. Watch for that, man. Tell me about paint. What do you know? You've got your uniform and your face paint, but that alone isn't enough to make for good camouflage. Camouflage means blending in with nature. To make your disguise complete, you've got to keep a low profile and avoid overt movements. As long as you've got the uniform and face paint working for you, and you're lying flat keeping still, you won't have to worry about being spotted from a distance. On the flip side, dancing around your enemy in perfect camo is still a dead giveaway. 
So if the enemy's looking for you and he's getting too close for comfort, just lay low for the time being. Android phone just updated. And it's ugly as fuck. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. The giant anaconda is What are we talking about? Snakes? Snake we just the killed the thing. Diameter. The pain. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And snake. The giant anaconda is a very large snake, but you should be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. Ugh. All right, fine. Fair enough. Let's just keep moving. I'm a crocodile and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. Yeah, there's got to be a way to make this Android update not look so fucking ugly. I'm sure there is. I mean, it's it's not... I don't know, it's not that much different, I guess, but it, it literally just updated today, and I have to take a look and figure out. Because it was like, everything lo looked good, everything worked well, and then now I'm looking at it, and it's like, things are bright white and weird. I don't know. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Also, speaking of Android, Fallout Shelter... <laughs> Fallout Shelter is confirmed for Android, I think, August 17th. So that's, that's good news. Really interested in checking that game out. Some good 1960s technology right there. What's this? This fruit? It's fruta on the fr fruta? That's the only mobile game I have any interest in. Fallout Shelter. That's it. I've been disappointed too many times. I no longer give a fuck. Alright, um, I think... I think we're done now because... The hover chair things were actually prototypes developed in the 60s, Jesus. Yeah, I think, I think this will be, uh... Ah! Gotcha, scared you, didn't I? <laughs> I'm getting a little tired. And I gotta finish Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's I. I have not seen that movie, and people were getting angry at me because I did not see the movie. And I wanted to see the movie. I just never had the opportunity, and I kind of forgot about it for a while. So I started watching it last night. I got about halfway through, and it's pretty good. I, I like it. I don't think it's the best thing I've ever seen, but um, I'm enjoying it. And so I'm gonna watch that. Um, Arrested Development. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Oh, fuck. Here we go again. I'll tell you in a minute. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon. And they get picked off one after the other by this fish man thing. And there was this <laughs> fish man thing. The heroine is going for a swim. It's right up my alley. sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the three... I love Paramedic, though. She's great. She likes good intense, movies and everything. It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space would no how rude why do you say that because no one on earth could be as charming as you <sighs> fine i'll just get to the point snake be careful of what's around you when you're in the water okay just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man 
I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. I you promise you, you paramedic. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for I won't snow, attack either. any pretty girls or Are fishmen. You calling me a fishman. You started it. Uh. Okay, so we have art to get to. So stream's not over yet. I'm really enjoying this game a lot, guys, and I'm very, very happy to be playing it finally. This is, like I said, my first playthrough, and this is the first time I've played a new Metal Gear game in years. So this is a great experience, and I, I'm loving every minute of it. So this will probably go down in the history books for me as one of my favorite streams, if the quality is maintained, and I believe it will be. But, um... I was going to say, yeah, so Guardians is, is a fun movie. I'm, I'm definitely um, interested in finishing it because it is doesn't take itself too seriously. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. And um, yeah, it's, it's good. Hang on a second. Just uh, going to get the art ready. So I've also, <clears throat> I've been watching Arrested Development for the first time because it was recommended to me by a number of people. And that is also really good. I finished season one and I'm on season two now. And I, I think it's a fucking hysterical show. So just some recommendations. We got Rick and Morty starting tomorrow. We got um, SGDQs coming up for the week. So this is definitely going to be pretty good. It's going to be an interesting week. Anyway, here's some of the art that we got. From Joe Mun Nafuda. Here's me as Snake. <laughs> That's awesome. From Dapremont. Here is um, me, Final Fantasy VII style. With the sword in the background and everything. And there's also a BRB version. Really, really great style you have here. Dappermont. I, I like this a lot. Um, let's see. From Scoutman. I'm still in a stream. Vine Eater. <laughs> From Laika923. Snake Eater. I can't read that, actually, but it's a great piece of art. From Rectal Romance 2. Hey, everyone, it's Vinny. Let's do this shit. <laughs> Critical, I hope, will be... Uh, I'm going to be discussing some things that we could possibly stream together. So it should be fun. Maybe we'll find like a multiplayer shitty game that we can we can stream together. But uh, I have to say, again, Critical is a great dude. I mean, aside from the charity stuff, getting to know him a little bit was a surprise. He was very cool, very nice, not fake at all, like not a phony. So I really definitely um, appreciated that. From Wolf Is Me, Vine Sauce will be right back. Uh, let's see. We got some more Metal Gear art. Again, if I've missed your art, just um, I guess you can email it to me, but I, I just want to apologize in advance. Okay, from Dangerous Dackel. It's a little uh, Vine Shroom fellow. From Cato Lanyo. It's Saturday Night Vine! That would have worked better, but Saturday Vine Live also works. From Mr. Epic Games. Vine Shroom. From Kaiser Pajeo. Jan Cena. From 
voluptuous meat. <laughs> snake is looking pretty fucking voluptuous in this. Snake, snake, calm your tits. But Colonel, that's the problem. I don't even remember this. This happened at some point. From Dijani 10. Here's a great, great piece with a bunch of the streamers all together. Super Vine Sauce Galaxy. That's really, really nicely done. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. From GoGo. -Go, Vine Sauce quality streams. From Rusted. Thanks for streaming Final Fantasy VII. Oh, man, it was my pleasure. I, I had a great time streaming Final Fantasy VII. I miss it already, actually. Even making fun of it when it was bad. <laughs> I miss that, too. But I will always cherish the Final Fantasy VII stream because we, we had a lot of laughs. There's a lot of really intense moments. And you know what? It's just a good game. It just has a dopey story at times but the characters are cool and it was a lot of fun i actually miss it already like the other day um yesterday i was, was thinking like oh man you know what am i going to be streaming final fantasy 7 right oh wait no i'm done with it and it's weird because again it's it's not even that great of an rpg compared to some other rpgs you know it's a little dated but it still has this charm to it that maybe it's the nostalgia i don't know Whatever it is, I, st I still enjoy it years later. And despite how stupid it is at times, I still think it's great. From Logical Looney, some Wind Waker Chaos Edition art. The video will be up soon for that, the highlight video. Monday or Tuesday, I think. From Pablo Ferrari, Metal Gay Solid 3. I'm going to eat your snake. Come on, enter the box. We have leeches in here. Amazing. From Fenris the Rogue. I have leeches on my dick. This needed art, of course. I, I knew it was going to happen. From Bonus Pop. Here's Fallout art. And what is, is that a... Is that a dick rocket? Oh, it says Red Rocket in the uh, tags. Okay. From Bonus Pop, here's Marmite for charity, guys. From Sign, it's time to fulfill my destiny. I will live inside the box and feel an enormous sense of inner peace. From Knickknack Pity Pat, there's, uh, there's one a snake with the crocodile hat. From Patrick, the fuck is this? Uh, from Lil Dashy, one one twenty two. Yeah, it was. It was. From Van Duo Bones. Ah, perfect. No one will ever find me here. <laughs> oh fucking god! It's the love story. Love story of a century. Snake hiding in someone's tits. From Cola Star. Snake is slowly becoming a furry. Oh, God. We, uh, uh, you're right. But if it's a crocodile, does it, is it okay? From Densetsu 7, first interrogation. Okay, I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. Sokolov is... Oh, sorry. From Crimson... <laughs> Oh God, that's that is wonderful. <laughs> uh oh, hang on. Okay, that is amazing. That that really just sums up my Metal Gear Solid Three play th uh, playthrough in in a nutshell. That is how I stealth. That is the maximum stealth capabilities. Oh man, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it just going to go ahead and save that. It really is a perfect summation of what I'm doing here on, on this stream. So thank you for that. From Gilded Mischief, currently hiding in a box, BRB. 
And then there's a uh, another one from the same person, 100% inconspicuous. From Platin, Platinatina or Platinatina, maybe. Will this recharge my batteries? Yes, a vine shroom will recharge your batteries. From Kangaroo. Just only a few more left. This one is... It says at the bottom, my attempt... When an attempt to draw something psychedelic gets horribly... Goes horribly wrong and ends up looking like a fifth grader's art project hyped with LSD. I think it looks pretty cool. Whatever the fuck it is. But that's the point of psychedelic art. You're not really... You know, you're not really supposed to know. From ComJ... What is this abomination? It's a Jen and Vinny fan game that ComJ is apparently making. Well, you know, ComJ, when it's done, you're going to have to email it to me. <laughs> I only ask that you make it somewhat playable so I can make it through the levels. Um, yeah, I like ComJ. ComJ has made um, Super Smash Bras, which I one day will be doing the update of, and Sponge is in it. It's just multiplayer, so I'm going to probably stream it with Mike. From Viney, here is, oh God, Google Deep Dream with that picture of my face. It's fucking scary. And from Torin, his name is Dave. It's got to be Apple Dave, huh? Always Apple Dave. Yeah, well, anyway, I just want to kind of say a few closing things. The first is, um, yeah, this has been great. I, I just, I'm so happy that I'm streaming a brand new Metal Gear game. And I'm very appreciative. Tonight we had like 2,400 viewers. I, that's amazing. This is so amazing. Um, you know, it, it's funny because people sometimes say, Vinny, you know, your YouTube channel you don't have as many subs as some of the bigger YouTubers, but, you know, I like your stuff better. It's like, well, I don't... Look, I, I get enough attention to keep my ego afloat and to keep me afloat. You know, I'm happy. And I just keep doing what I do. And if you guys like it, that is amazing. Uh, I appreciate it. I really do. And, you know, I'm happy if, if people catch on and if, if they you know, find the stream. That's awesome. But 2,400, I mean, even like compared to the bigger Twitch channels, that's not massive, but 24, 2,500, that's a lot of people. And I am very grateful for you guys stopping by and, and giving a shit about my playthrough of the game. And um, also for those that, you know, take the extra step and find out a little bit about me, um, I, I actually appreciate that as well. Like I said, I have uh, some songs from my upcoming rock album coming. <laughs> it sounds so weird saying it. Like, oh, he's attempting a, oh, he's attempting music. But in reality, I've been doing this way longer than I've been streaming. So it kind of is just a first love. But the album is going great. And um, the first two songs are online. Vine.bandcamp.com if you're interested. And uh, also at that same location, I have a new song I've been working on at home that I like a lot that will be uploaded this week. Just going to talk to Joe a little bit, talk to Mike, uh, get some second opinions, third opinions, and then finish it up. So, so yeah, just trying to keep you guys um, in, inundated with music. Um, also, I'm going to see Django Django on Tuesday. So if anyone from the stream is going to be at that concert um, and, you, and you bump into me, feel free to say hello. Um, as for streaming tomorrow, I just want to let you guys know once again, because of the charity stream, because we hit such a high number of, of donations for charity, we brought Tamadachi Life back. If you are that new to the stream that you've not seen Tamadachi Life, it's fucking weird. Just... Google or YouTube Vinny Tamadachi Life and, and you'll see what I mean. But tomorrow will be episode number 51. 
and we'll be doing a Survivor style edition of Tominachi Life. I'm not sure what time I'll be streaming it, but as always, you can check my Twitter or the Vine Sauce Twitter. The Vine Sauce Twitter is just Vine Sauce. Mine is at Vinny Vine Sauce. And I will definitely keep you guys updated about the time. It'll be reasonable. It won't be at midnight. It'll be something, you know, doable. So check your email on Twitch. Keep checking the channel and you'll see it. And after Tamadachi, I might do some other stuff too. Sunday is usually one of those days that I, I kind of just tend to do a bunch of random shit. Also, <clears throat> some people have sent me, Wienerless Steve and Frustrator sent me brand new corruptions. So you can look forward to more corruptions at some point. And I think they're supposed to be very quality. Very quality. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I guess, lastly, Bayonetta 2. I will be streaming alongside Metal Gear Solid 3. And I will be beginning that playthrough. I will be beginning that playthrough on someday early next this week coming up so you know monday or tuesday well tuesday's the concert maybe not maybe monday or maybe wednesday so look forward to bayonetta 2 i'm excited and uh, i guess that's about it um I, oh one last thing i have not been too up on my emails and uh the reason for that is it's just too much and i keep getting the same questions over and over again if it's really, really an important question, you just mark it as important. But uh, if I do not respond to your email, just don't take it personally. You know, uh, it's just it's just really difficult to get to people. And game requests, I do not respond to. I'll definitely read them, definitely take them into into consideration. But I don't respond to them because it's just it it was it was getting to the point where it would take me eight hours to do emails. Like, if I let the emails kind of pile up, it could take me a, f a full eight hours to just meticulously go through every one of them. And I was just thinking to myself, like, man, that's just too much. I can't do that anymore. So, um, live on Vine Sauce right now are Dire Boar, who's playing Fallout New Vegas, and Joel, who's playing Way of the Samurai 4. Um, Joel does not need the help. So I will not be hosting him. I'll be hosting Dyer because I, I just, I feel like, you know, spread the, spread the love to where the people need it, so to speak. But um, if you want to see Joel live, he is live right now. His Twitch is V-A-R-G-S-K-E-L-E-T-H-O-R. -E and um, feel free to go check out his stream. I'm done, so may as well. Or you can check out Dyer Boar, whose Twitch name is just Dyer Boar. Or go to vinesauce.com and check them there. All right, announcements are over, um, except for one more. New two on the vine will probably happen this week. So um, if you're interested in the podcast I do with KY, that'll be happening this week as well. Uh, all right, well, that's enough. That's enough for me. Good night, everyone. And uh, once again, just thank you for everything, all the support and just how amazing you all are. It, it still blows my mind and it, it's making it so that I can't stop streaming tonight. I just can't shut up. So I guess I'm slightly over overwhelmed at the moment. But no, seriously, good night, guys. For real. See ya. See you tomorrow. <laughs>